We're joined by Daniel Shallowy, who just signed a four-year extension. I mean, how are you feeling? It's especially exciting for you being 19 to 26 with the same club. Yes, yes, amazing and uh, excited to be part of this club for, for many, many years to come. And I hope, um, you know, I can take big steps with it, this club. And I'm, I'm happy for the trust that, you know, the ownership and coaching staff puts in me. It's, uh, it's an amazing feeling. Walk me through kind of how it all went down. I know we, we only get to see the announcement via Twitter or, or, or the email that we get. How was it behind the scenes? How, how did the negotiations go? Was it smooth? Yes, with Sporting, you know, we, uh, we talked in preseason first that um, this is something uh, they plan on uh, doing, uh, offering me a new deal. And uh, then when I was uh, in June with the national team, we actually sat down and, uh, and, and, and talked sat down. I mean, I'm not part of it. It's really through my, <laughs> my agent. And uh, they they did an amazing job at finding yeah. the best deal for the both of us. And um, I'm, I'm very excited. So it just, you know, it was a uh, good timing right now to announce it. So this is why uh, we're doing it now. So very happy that it's out there. And yeah. the final, it's not a it's not a secret. <laughs> no longer a secret. Yes. Did you did you speak with any of your maybe teammates about it or get counsel from from some of your friends on why you should stay in Kansas City? Yes, of course. I mean, I have good friends on the team mm -hmm. like Johnny, Fonti, like these guys uh, all knew uh, what was happening with, uh, with, with sporting and, uh, and my future and, you know, they gave me advice. But at the end of the day, it's, uh, it's hard, you know, mm -hmm. only, uh, only you, you can tell what's going to be best for you. But uh, it's nice to hear, you know, the older guys give you uh, what, what they think you should sure. be doing. So you tell me, why was KC best for you? I mean, you've had a lot of success here, obviously, being an all-star and the awards that you've been able to accomplish. Did you just think that with Kansas City you would be able to, to get to the goals that you needed to? Yes, look, I mean, I, I come as a homegrown player, and I can thank this club for, for a lot. Uh, as you said, I started my professional career here. I, uh, I, I became a national team player, all-star, and these were dreams as a, as, as a young player that sure. I always wanted to have. And uh, this is something that I, I definitely put on the priority list when I was, I was looking at my, my options. And, you know, yes, I was thinking about uh, switching to, to trying out Europe and, uh, and other, other places. But at the end of the day, I feel like uh, I'm, I'm 26, like what's best for my career? And it's, it's very rare when a player stays and uh, tries to become this, uh, this club legend almost. Mm -hmm. Like I'm looking at players like Graham Zussi and how Matt Beasler was here. And, with goals, Preki and these players, and it's uh, it's amazing to to be competing with those guys for uh, for records mm -hmm. and stuff. So like for me, this is a it's a big goal, and I, I hope to break many records and win trophies with the team. So the next Matt Beasler is who we're talking to. Yes, I, I'd love to be. I'd love to be. Yes. <laughs> Are you also going to work at Chicken and Pickle later? I don't know about that. I don't know. I have to negotiate with Matt for that. Uh, absolutely, <laughs> yeah. obviously. Well, congratulations. Happy to have you in KC. Thank Thank